Good morning and welcome back to another day in my life. I have an important exam this afternoon. It determines about a quarter of my overall medical school results. If you don't hear my voice quivering, it's because all emotion has been stripped out of it a few lockdowns ago. I get out of bed really late, but it's still a few hours until my 3pm exam and I'm really not a fan of cramming so I never actually study in the last few days around exam time. I'd rather call my dad and have a heartwarming catch up with him. I decide to go on a walk, which in this rain is only a pleasure because of the podcast I'm listening to. It's one of my favourites, I come back to it again and again. It's by Tim Ferriss and Hugh Jackman. I make notes on it as always and try to distract myself from lockdown London making me feel as though there's been an apocalypse. At this point, I'm half tempted to Google what the equivalent of a rain dance is for medical exams after a year of cancelled placement, but instead I decide to go home, defrost myself and make some lunch. I decide to join a co-working session after skipping my morning one. Looking at my stethoscope next to me, and now done trying to subconsciously trick myself into thinking I'm a professional, I actually open the exam webpage and make myself comfortable for the real thing. Online exams are interesting. You don't get a lot of shuffling and the electric feel of the anxiety of 500 students around you, but you also have to resist the temptation to get into bed and call it a day, which just gets stronger and stronger after the first five minutes. Realising every mistake I make will probably cost me another half an hour commute from London for my foundation placement, I finish my exam wondering how close to Aberdeen I've ended up. In normal circumstances, now would be the time my friends and I would meet up and order way too much food. To try to make up for this, I end up spending the next half an hour chatting on WhatsApp and comparing the answers for what we remember with my friends. I feel bad for my often questionable management of my imaginary patients, but there's no time to feel apologetic. It's 6pm and I don't actually have the afternoon off. I try to save my post-exam high for tomorrow while I hop on a call with Ali. This is going to be a very long one, so I take my laptop and Ali to the window so I can look at the view every now and then. This is one of our weekly meetings where we try to explain why we haven't done what we were supposed to do the previous week and also plan out our future projects and tasks. As always, Ali doesn't disappoint in providing the entertainment. Oh shit, what? Oh fuck. What did you do? What did I do? I dropped the camera which caused a glass to topple and smash okay so it was the glass not the camera smashing. no there is a, gla- a glass that has smashed all over the oh well what can you do gosh dude i miss you shouting to ali <laughs> call anytime <laughs> As always, I end these calls excited to get started with work, so I spend the rest of the night in front of my computer working on a project powered by Coca-Cola until I fall asleep. If you made it so far, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I do hope you have a wonderful rest of your day yourself. Be kind to yourself and others, and don't believe everything you think. Bye!